this is our first homework assignment for week 13 in calculus. And this problem is for the function f of x equals negative 2x cubed plus 21x squared minus 60x minus 3 over what intervals is the function increasing and decreasing justified? What we're going to do first is locate the critical numbers for this function. And the critical numbers are where the slope of this function is zero or undefined. And to find the critical numbers, we can set, we find the first derivative of this function. And the first derivative of an original function would be the function for the slope at any given input. So for this first term, negative two x cubed, we have three times negative two is going to be negative six. And we have x to the three minus one, which is x squared. And next we have plus two times 21, which is 42. And we have x to the two minus one, which is just x to the one. And the last one here we have is negative, and we have x to the first power times one. It's gonna be negative 60. And then we have one minus zero, so the x to the zero power. And the derivative of this constant minus two is zero. So this is what we have. Now we're going to set this first derivative equal to zero and solve for x. We'll see where the where the slope uh, is neither increasing nor decreasing. So it's zero. So what we have is we're going to factor out a six from this. So we have six times negative x squared. And we're going to have plus 7x. And then we're going to have minus 60. Is that right? Or minus 10. Minus 10. And that's right, because we multiply 6 times all of this, we get that together. So, if we divide by 6, we get 0 is equal to negative x squared plus 7x minus 10. Now, you might ask why we didn't factor out a negative 6 from this, and that's that's going to be important. I'm going to bring that up a little later. I actually learned by mistake. So let's find the factors of this quadratic trinomial. Well, for this one here, we're going to have x times negative x is going to give us negative x squared. And then we want to find the factors that are negative 10, but we'll add up to plus 7x. So we're going to have negative, I think 7 is 5, right? 5 plus 2, 5 times 2. So we're going to have combinations of 2 and 5. Well, let's see what we have here. We're going to have negative x. Let's see, it's going to be minus 5 and x plus 2. Let's see if that works. We're going to have negative 2x and 5x. No, nah, that's not going to quite work, is it? Let's try plus here, minus x minus, minus 2. Okay. Then we're going to get plus 2x plus 5x. This is going to work. So using the zero factor property, we have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and we have negative x plus 5 is equal to 0, and then we have x equals 2, and if we add x to each side here, we have x is equal to 5. So these will be our critical numbers, so let's go and work on a number line. 
And then our number line, we place our critical numbers, which are 2 and 5. And again, these critical numbers are where this the value of this first derivative function is 0. And we're going to put f here on top, uh, excuse me, f prime on top, and f on the bottom. And then we're going to analyze this function here. So the first thing we're going to do is take a number less than 2. We can take 0, right? So if we have 0 for x, we're going to have a negative times a positive, which is negative. So the function is decreasing from greater than negative infinity to 2. And then between 2 and 5, we can take 3. Well, 3 minus 2, that's going to be positive. And then negative 3 plus 5, that's positive. So we have positive. Positive, positive. And then to the right of 5, we pick up a number of maybe 6. Well, negative 6 plus 5, that's negative. And negative 6 minus 2 is negative. So negative times positive is negative. And so what we say is uh, f, f of x is decreasing on the intervals negative infinity to 2 union. I'm going to put below here 5 to infinity. And why? because f prime of x is less than 0. And f of x is increasing on interval 2 to 5. And why is that? Because f prime of x is greater than zero. And you could put different, the abbreviations can be a little different, but this is really what I'm looking for, plus all the analysis, minimum of which is to find the critical numbers. So one thing you have to be careful, if we had factored out a negative six, we would have reversed this function here and not preserved the negative odd type function so we would have messed things up so this is a rare instance i don't know how rare but where we had to preserve the signs inside here to get this straight if you don't preserve the signs you're going to get an opposite image you're going to have increasing between negative infinity to two decreasing between two and five and increasing between five to infinity so good luck to you and thanks for viewing